Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Victoria and in today's video we are going to speak about the color of the skin, what influences its appearance and the clinical relevance of that. This video is not directed towards differences of skin color amongst the world population, but rather differences in the appearance of the skin of one individual due to internal and external influences. As said in videos before, the individual skin color is determined genetically and is influenced by exposure to UV rays that leads to production of the pigment melanin by melanocytes in the skin. This happens in various amounts as some areas as the palms of the hand or the mammilla regions show natural differences in pigmentation. Furthermore, also factors as keratinization, blood supply, scar formations and internal diseases play a role in the appearance of the skin color. Generally, one's skin might appear naturally more red, bluish or neutral in color. The cooler skin types are those appearing more pink or reddish. The warmer skin types are naturally more yellow, golden or peachy in color while a neutral skin color presents in an olive green or a balance of the two named above. This means a patient can appear yellowish due to his or her natural color and the tone of the patient's skin might not indicate an icterus due to some underlying disease. Also the thickness of the keratinized skin layer changes the appearance of the skin. A thin layer, as in for example the lips, will make the skin appear more red, while a thick layer will lead to a more yellow appearance of the skin, as perhaps in the palms of the hands or the sole of the feet. Another factor that influences the appearance of the skin color is vascularization and blood supply. Those body areas that are highly vascularized appear more reddish in tone as less vascularized areas. In situations of poor blood perfusion, the tissues can change to a pale to bluish color also. These changes in one person's skin color can be of great importance. I want to give you a few clinical examples to keep in mind. A patient's skin might appear pale in shock as the arterial blood supply is decreased. Also patients with hypothyroidism or hypotension can appear more pale than usually. A pale color of the skin of a leg can indicate a thrombosis and in the case of a mitral stenosis, the face presents with red cheeks and otherwise pale facial skin color. We call this appearance facies mitralis. A more red skin color can indicate hyperperfusion after exercise, hypertension or also carbon monoxide poisoning, in which also the mucosa will be red. A patient with Addison's disease will appear tan with a brown to orange appearing skin color not related to sun exposure. Research suggests that even regular consumption of fruits and vegetables with high contents of carotenoids give an individual skin a more golden tan appearing tone. Other causes of changes in the appearance of the skin are disorders as psoriasis, albinism, vitiligo or lupus erythematodus. If you want to know more about any of these, you can find videos about them in our playlist of dermatology. I hope this video was interesting for you. If you like our channel, we would be very happy if you would subscribe. Thank you very much.